Tuesday, March 31st. My name is Melissa Ajwul. I've got you for chair yoga this morning. I'm gonna move back a little bit more so you can see my feet. Let's start by getting set up and organized. You're gonna to wanna to have a chair, preferably with no arms, something you can slide a little bit forward and slide a little bit back. You might like to have a towel, a small hand towel, which you can use to pull onto your knee or not. Straps if you have them. Good Charlie. So I want you to, to, to be in a seated position where your feet are firmly on the floor. If your feet, um, depending on your chair and your height and the length of this bottom half of your leg, if your feet do not comfortably reach the floor and rest there, please get books or towels or blankets or something to bring the earth up to your feet. Now let's bring our attention to our spine. As a marionette pulls the string of the puppet high, I want to think of the same analogy, creating length, lightness, and the spine. Draw, lengthen out the back of the neck and lift the crown of the head. You can just rest your hands comfortably on your thighs and let's close our eyes here and take some deep breaths, both in and out through the nose. Hey Chan, I can see you very well in my screen. Can you give me a wave if you can hear me? Thank you. All right, in and out through the nose. Now with each out breath, think about sliding the shoulder blades down your back and think about the idea of surrender and release. We cannot control what's going on outside of us. but we may exercise control over what's going on inside. Let's take four more slow breaths and focus on filling and expanding through the chest and the belly. And then releasing and surrendering with the exhale. Go ahead and blink the eyes open. We're gonna move into a little bit of spine work. So again, you wanna think of the length in the spine. We want to be gentle, but supported. Take one hand, it doesn't matter which one, cross it over the top and hook the outside of the thigh. And then the free hand, inhale, lift, Exhale, side bend. And kind of create yourself into this sort of pretzel shape. Now, check your sit bones. Two sit bones down on the seat. Softness in the shoulder, softness in the arm. Now take your top shoulder, roll back, look up, and feel that beautiful stretch on your side body. One more breath. Exhale and release. Let's do that on the other side. So take the other hand, cross over to the outside of the thigh, grip on with the hand, inhale, lift. Exhale and side bend. Again, anchor both sit bones down, lift length in the spine, softness in the shoulder, even to the fingertips. Let's do that one more time on each side. So trade out again. Inhale to lift. Finding the length, the integrity of the spine. Exhale to C-shape yourself over. 
One more breath in. Exhale to return. And to the other side. Inhale to lift. Exhale and cascade yourself over. With intention, press down with the sit bones, lift out of the waist. One more breath in. And out. Now with the feet, let's uh, find the soles of the feet against the floor. Maybe you have socks on. I prefer socks or bare feet, but if you need shoes, that's fine as well. Let's, talk, let's start with our balls of our feet and our toes. So lift the balls of the feet, flex your foot, pull your toes back towards your calf and lower that down. So let's inhale to lift the toes. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Now just notice where you might be holding on to tension while we're flexing our feet. Maybe it's in your jaw. Maybe it's in your shoulders. Maybe it's in your mind. Now one more lift and hold. Now let's spread our toes. And I believe that for some people, they literally cannot spread their toes. Let's see if you can spread your toes here and release that down. Now let's do the reverse. So we're gonna press into the balls of the feet and lift the soles. So we'll inhale to lift up, exhale to lower down. So inhale, lift, stretch out the bottom of the foot and lower down. Now while your hands are on your quads, feel the, con the contraction, the movement of the quads as you lift up and lower down. And then look for the stretch for the feeling in your calf muscles. I can feel that contraction at the top and then stretch it down. Let's do one more and stretch it down. All right, so from here, we're gonna move into a leg extension. You can start with your right leg. Take your hands into your hip creases and anchor down. And again, we don't wanna collapse back into the chair. We wanna use the strength of the core to hold our dignified spine. You wanna think of the length of the spine as that's your tuning cable to the universe, and you want to be in tuned and ready to move. So taking your right leg, let's lift that. Now you can scoot a little bit forward in your chair if you're like, you can lift here, you can lift here, you can lift all the way up. But notice this is one unit. I'm sure you can feel your quad muscle. So try not to collapse back, try to stand tall, it requires a lot of core strength. And then draw some circles with your foot, making sure to go in both directions. Point and flex, wow, I can feel that. Chan, can you feel it? You're the one person I can see really well. Can you feel it, Chan? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Now let's bring that down and do it on the other side. So again, anchor first, lift the leg. Maybe you're low, maybe you're a little bit higher. Maybe you sit back in your chair for some support from the base of the chair beneath your thigh. That's fine also. Remember, Yoga is a practice. It's not a destination. It's not an end game. It's a practice. Uh, that feels good. And then we'll come on down. Okay, from here, I'd like to take our leg and bring our knee up to our chest. Now, when we do this, we tend to collapse down or lean way back in the chair. I'd like you to think about engaging your core strength and lifting the knee up, but maintaining the, the dignity, the length of the spine. Now you may might like to have your little hand up to help you here. That's absolutely fine. Hold this knee here. Now squeeze it and lift. Back is straight. Take your shoulders, roll them up, back, set the blades down the back. Breathe. 
we're gonna take the same leg, clasp onto the ankle and cross. Okay, let's get situated here in our seated figure four. We tend to hike this hip off. You want to anchor that down. You can even give yourself a little lift and make sure both sit bones are down. Flex your foot to stabilize your knee joint. That engages the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and brings stability to the knee. Take your free hand, press into the knee. So in this time of craziness in the world, we want to continue reminding ourselves that we have control over our internal dialogue, over our reactions, over our choices. We just want to make sure that we are aligning our thoughts, our actions with what we truly believe in. a lot of stress in our hips so we're working to um, break up loosen that um, stress in the hips the tension in the hips now if you'd like a little bit more you can just hang out here for a bit longer if you would like a little bit more you can clasp beneath the thigh and lift up if you like and you can give it a try and I don't mind if you lean back in your chair in order to do this but you're going to feel a much deeper stretch through the outside of your hip finding the length of the spine engaging through the core and we'll release we'll unwind this leg again one more squeeze finding the length in the spine try not to collapse Try not to lean, stand tall. My parents would call this church posture. And release. Okay, let's work the other side. Pulling the knee up. Finding that long line, that plumb line, if you will, from the tailbone to the crown of the head, pulling the knee in. Option to support with a towel or a strap. It's a nice, cozy, snug movement of the thigh bone towards the chest. And then we'll navigate or move the leg over into the figure four. So you'll notice on me that on this side, I'm a lot tighter. See how my knee is more elevated over here. I'm not as open on this side. That's very normal and it gives me a goal, something to look for or work for. So I'm gonna lift. Get myself squared up, set in, engage, knit the ribs, and then begin to apply the pressure. So on this side, I can tell that I'm more tight. So I'm actively, I am using my strength to push into this knee and ask for the hip to open. Let's close our eyes. Take a couple of nourishing, nourishing breaths. We tend to hold our breath when we don't even realize it. For example, yesterday I was pulling weeds in my yard. And the more I pulled, the more aggravated I got. And I realized that I was holding my breath. That's why we constantly remind you to come back. Now, if you'd like to take that deeper stretch, I'm gonna shift my position a little bit, clasp onto my thigh, lift up and back. Woo, man, that's tight. And release, and release. Okay. From here, I'd like to move into some network, neck work. So, soles of the feet to the floor, thigh bones parallel, hands resting on the tops of your thighs, that length in the spine. Take a breath in and look up. Exhale and relax the chin towards the neck. 
Now notice if you've allowed your shoulders to hike up towards your ears and let them down. And just let the head be heavy. Now we're gonna roll the ear to one side. We are not going to go back. Roll through the center. Go to the other side. Through the center. And lift. And we're going to add on to this neck roll, looking for us to open through our neck and our shoulders. So inhale, look up. Exhale, draw the neck towards the chin. Inhale, roll over. Exhale and stay. So the opposite shoulder, actively press that away from the ear. You can even push with the hand. And you can take your free hand and gently rest it on the side of the head and create that um, stretch in opposite directions with your hands. Yeah, so you should feel that connection all the way through the side of the neck down to the fingertip. And release, roll through, breathe in, exhale to the other side, pause. Slide the shoulder away, extend the arm, breathe in, and breathe out. Oh, that feels good. So now I'm gonna reset my shoulders. So I'm gonna roll them back, pulling my shoulder blades behind my heart, and shoulders out of the ears. Inhale to lift. Exhale, roll through the center. And release. We're gonna move from here into some cat and cows. With cat and cow, I'm gonna turn side on so you can see the difference. So cow is going to be a scoop in the back, a press of the chest, and a slight tip of the tailbone. Cat is like hollowing cat, so you're going to hollow through the belly, push the spine back, drop the shoulders and the head. You can rest your hands on your thighs. You can even hold on to your knees. You can cuff your knees with your hands. End breath to cow, so pull the belly in. Slide the shoulders down. Excuse me, end breath to cat. Cat, cat, arch the breath. Out breath to cow. So shine your heart space forward. Scoop out the breath, the back. And breath to cat, spine high. Relax your shoulders. Out breath. So make that feel really delicious on your back. And breath to count. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Separate the vertebrae and the spine. Out breath. In breath. So feel the shoulders pulling away from the back side of the body. Separate the shoulder blades. In breath. Roll, loop. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's do four more at your own pace. I'm breathing in and out through my nose. Take the time to linger. And return to neutral. Okay, 
and opening my feet widely. You can have your toes open a little bit if that's more comfortable for you. You can point your toes forward, whatever works for you. So now with that long spine, the integrity of this length, bow at the waist. So surge the heart forward as you come forward to what we call a flat back extend. But send your eyes down to the floor. So I want a long spine parallel to the floor. Now push back with your hips towards the back of the chair and reach the crown of the head towards me. Now pull the belly up, engage through the core. So use the strength of the muscles to hold your torso in this position. Take a breath in, deep breath in. Exhale and relax your fold all the way down. Allow your head to hang heavy. Look back at your chair, soften your shoulders. Place one hand to one knee, one hand to the other knee. Use the arms and the core to lift. We're going to do some modified sun salutations in the chair. You've got your arms, your feet directly in front of you, um, knees and toes pointing forward, arms by the side. Scooch your body forward just a little bit so you have room to move. We're going to inhale, arms over head, extended mountain. Exhale and fold. So soften down, hang like a rag doll. Now we'll take our flat back extend. So we'll cut the knees, lift the heart. My elbows are bent, surge the heart forward. Fold again. Inhale, reverse swan dive to the top. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center, pause. Okay, hey, let's try it with the wider feet and see how that feels. Arms by the side, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Flat back, extend, lift the heart space. Fold again. Hands by the side, inhale, rise. Prayer hands to heart center. Now let's take a narrow stance. So bring your feet really close together. Arms by the side, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold, you're gonna hang on the knees. Flat back, extend, lift the heart space. Fold again. Inhale, rise. Prayer hands to heart center. Okay, we're gonna move into warrior two, a supported warrior two. Take your right leg, open it to the side and point your toes to the side. Now to modify for warrior two, we're gonna hold this position here where you have a perfect square corner with each thigh bone. So this is your modification for warrior two. Otherwise, you'll take your thigh, you'll slide it on the chair and extend the leg. So you've got the chair supporting your thigh bone. You've got your knee over your ankle, your toes open. Now we wanna to try to get our torso between our hips. So lift up here, yep. Now, let's talk about your left toe. It's pointing towards me. and extend the arms. Okay, so we tend to round and collapse. We wanna be strong and lifted, torso between the hips. Take your shoulders, roll them up, set them down your back and hold. Okay, let's do our flow. Reach high, flow in reverse. So it's like a windmill here. Just move at your own pace. Think about stretching those arms long. It's like a pinwheel, right? Now let's just check in with the knee on the straight leg. Don't lock out that knee. We always wanna keep soft joints. So we're going to hold on reverse warrior. Slide the arm down the leg gently. You can hold onto your chair if you like. 
and I'd like for you to go for your deepest side body opener of the day. So breathe up, 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 pour over, reach, 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 go for your edge, and release. Now let's extend. So support with the forearm on the leg, bring the bicep by the ear, reach long. It's a beautiful long diagonal line. Now engage your core, reach, twist open, find that length. One more breath, breathe in. Return to warrior two, and let it go. We'll move around to the other side. So again, this time you're going to open your left toe to the side. You may have your right thigh and create that right angle, or send this leg long, adjust your body so your thigh, thigh is on the chair. Your right leg, check the knee is soft, Toes are pointing towards me. Shoulders, where are the shoulders? The shoulders, the torso is between your hips. Torso is between the hips. Breathe and soften. Yeah, so that I, um, my friends and I have the nickname for that voice in our head. And I hate to say it out loud, but I'm going to. It's the shitty committee. It's that committee in the brain. What's that dialogue in the inside, your internal dialogue? We want to really focus on shifting that to the things that we can control and releasing and letting go of the things that we can't control. Inhale, reach. Exhale. So create your beautiful windmill here. gratitude for our healthy bodies that are allowing us to be here right now. Then yoga is a practice. That's what we're doing. We're just practicing. We're moving. Inhale, reach and stay. Let's reverse our warrior. So we reach up, tip over. So you can slide this arm down, you can hold on to your chair, you can rest on your leg, reach up and over, take this shoulder open to the sun. Beautiful. And some practices, this pose is called Sun Warrior. Take one more breath. And extend your warrior, so the long diagonal line, foot all the way to hand, one line energy, inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Use the support arm to lift, grace. Don't collapse. Be strong. And release. Turning the toes towards me. We'll take one more deep, relaxing and slow forward fold. So find where you're comfortable. On this one, I want you to let the belly be heavy. So everything comes through the center. Now, if it's available to you, you can take the shoulder stretch. You can use a towel or a blanket to help you where you hold opposite sides and you lift your arms up behind you. You may be able to clasp. Release the hands. Use the strength of the core to roll up. Now, I'd like you to sit back against your chair and roll your shoulders back. Like you're sleeping on a, in a chair. Shoulders back. Coming to center. Let's find that dignified posture again. Right where we began, feet firmly planted to the earth. Sit bones anchored, spine light and long, crown of the head lifted. Shoulders roll up, around, back and down. 
You cannot control what happens outside of you, but you can control what happens inside. Please be safe, be happy, be healthy, and come back on Thursday. Namaste. Thank you so much for your choice to join us this morning. It would not be the same without each and every one of you. Have a happy day. I'm going to unmute us in case you want to say hi. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Thank Melissa. Thank you so much. To all us out there. Okay. Hi, hi Gregory. Hi. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. All right, guys. Come back Thursday, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you. So are you going to do yoga at 1030? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's nice to see your beautiful faces. You too. Bye. 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 All right. Read a poodle.